Hi, you guys. And um, it's been a great month. We have reached the last quarter of the year. And I, this has been a fabulous uh, month, at least for me. And I just really want to encourage you with something that I heard at a business conference I went to on Saturday. The young lady is a Tony Robbins uh, speaker. And she was talking about BS. And she asked us point blank, what's keeping us from achieving a 10, for being a 10 in our business? And she says a lot of times it's BS. But it's not the BS you think. BS actually are belief systems is what she was saying. And so she asked us, what are the belief systems that are keeping us from uh, being a 10 in our business? And we had to think about that. For me, if I had to think about some belief systems that are keeping me from being a 10 in my business, I would say texting. Because I'm kind of old school. You don't text for business. But then I had to think, LaTanya, if you don't text, you got to get with the times because that's the way things are going. If you don't adjust with the times, you'll be just like Blockbuster and a lot of those other businesses that have gone the way of the dinosaur because they didn't adapt. Um, I'm at, I was at Fitzy today. If you don't know what Fitzy is, Fitzy is the Florida International Trade um, and Cultural Expo. It happens every year here in South Florida. I've gone every year. I remember the very first year they had it. It fit in one room, but anyway. So I've been, I was at Fitzy and I met so many people from the international community. I'm talking about, you're talking about over 80 countries comes to this thing. Um, and so I think this year they had some 60 countries or so commit. So that was fantastic. Um, but I connected with quite a few people from Africa, all over the continent. And one of the first things we talked about, hey, what's your WhatsApp number? Can I WhatsApp you? Why? Because that's the way communication is. So I can't, if I stayed stuck in my BS of you don't text for business, I'll never reach a 10. What BS is keeping you from being a 10 in your life? So you don't have a business. Who cares? Apply this to anything. What's keeping you from being a 10 in your life? What BS, what BS belief system is keeping you from being a 10 in life? It doesn't have to be faith, religion, or anything like that. Mine was, you know, text for business. That's BS. That's a belief system that I was taught back in the day, old school business. You pick up the phone, you call people, you know, email, but you don't text for business. That's BS. That's an old belief system that's gone the way of the dinosaur. My mom told me, you're trying to do business old school style, traditional, and that's not how the business landscape is today. And she's so right. People text for business. People would prefer to text or email before picking up the phone and calling. And then back in the day, that was so unheard of. Like, how dare you email before you call? But that's not the way of the future. And so anybody stuck in that BS way of living and thinking, they're not going anywhere. They're not going to get a 10 in their business. What belief system, what is in your mind? What is holding you back from being a 10 in your life right now? It's the last quarter of the year. You have opportunity to finish strong, achieve any goals, anything that you want in this last quarter of the year. What belief system do you need to cut loose so you can be a 10 in life? Not just in business, but in life. What are you trying to achieve that you, that's just, you just keep missing it. You just keep missing it. What are you holding on to? What's a concept? What's a belief system? What is a thought pattern? What is it that you're holding on to that's keeping you from getting to 10? Check it. Think about it. Look at it and kill it at the root.
and make the necessary changes so you can be a 10. In this year strong, because if you end this year strong, you're already starting off 2020 with a bang. And I don't know about you, but starting the new year off with a bang? You want to, if you end the year strong, that's, that's great momentum for 2020. And you can ride that momentum and keep riding it and keep riding it and keep riding. And then next thing you know, you got wave after wave after wave of momentum. And this, you next thing you know, you're beyond a 10. You're ruling and reigning in life. And that's the whole point. Rule and reign in life. So what BS is keeping you from being a 10? It's been a great, great year, you guys. Let's keep riding. Let's keep riding. Keep riding. Cut the BS and be a 10 so you can rule and reign in life and business. Love and like good people. Love and like.